I'm a senior research scientist in the Geographic Information Science and Technology Group. And we are embedded within the larger computing organization at the laboratory, which provides us some very unique opportunities to explore geospatial problems at a very big, actually global scale. There's so much imagery being collected now and being distributed to the public in ways that I think makes it seem like it's always accurate with respect to where it is on the ground. And the organizations that are trying to distribute aid, they're trying to defend this country, they struggle with this, that when the imagery comes in, it's not always where it's supposed to be because sacrifices are always made when these systems are built. Oftentimes what you have to do after the fact is figure out how to fix that problem. How do we employ a wide variety of computer vision, photogrammetric, and high-performance computing techniques to automatically take imagery, register it against other sources that we trust more, and make sure that it's in the right spot, what we call spatial registration. We are a very image-heavy world now, and we need automated solutions. And the computational challenges are quite significant in doing this. When we saw what the Tesla K80 was capable of and the cards that are coming after it, it gave us the opportunity to, to not take any shortcuts. And for us, the more GPUs we have, the better. We have built a framework that leverages multiple high-density hybrid CPU and GPU compute nodes. Uh, right now, we're dealing with 48 logical cores, four Tesla K80s per node, 12 nodes per system, and multiple systems distributed pretty widely from, uh, with respect to geography. So we, we have our eye towards things like Jetson and, and things like uh, some of the other Tegra-based solutions that are coming out. And so part of the computer vision and the machine learning aspects of this project is we have an image that comes in, it's got some content in it that we try to recognize interesting features in, and then we have to find those same features in some other source that we trust more. And that's a really hard problem. It extends into facial recognition, it extends into object recognition, and that's very much a deep learning problem, it's very much a machine learning problem, it's very much a computer vision problem, and all of those are computationally very, very intensive. Where libraries and hardware are being optimized and built to solve those problems, we build on top of those. And then where we have to build new things, uh, our goal is to contribute back, especially because our problem does have global significance to it. The people using this framework are ones very similar to it uh, that we're building, you know, span government, uh, industry, academia. After a disaster, you have to field uh, cameras and sensors very, very quickly to understand the situation on the ground. And spatial accuracy is incredibly important in that scenario. But also getting answers quickly is equally as important because people's lives may be at stake.